Righto, tell you the champs, and today we're going to have a look at this, the MacBook Killer. Yes, if you don't know, the MacBook Air is probably one of my most recommended laptops, the M1 version. But now, this thing here, this has got to be one of my top recommendations for laptops. Right up there with the MacBook Air, and especially if you want to do Windows, it does a lot of things better than that Mac. I mean, first of all, have a look at that gorgeous OLED display. I've got to tell you now, if you've never seen any of these new Asus, you know, Zen books with these OLED displays... You have never seen an awesome display because trust me, this display will just blow you away. It's over 500 nits peak brightness, about 560 I measured. Peak bright, no, actually, the peak brightness is around 700 nits. It can do 550, 60 nits sort of nits, just normal, which is actually more than a MacBook Air. It's powered by a Ryzen 7 7730U. What that means to you is eight cores of power, 16 threads. We got Ryzen graphics as well, so that means you'll be able to play AAA titles. Yes, AAA titles at sort of low settings, so if you want to play GTA 5 or something like that, really low settings, you'll be able to play it on this on an Ultrabook. Amazing, right? Eight cores of power. Plenty of power for an Ultrabook that is just, you know, unheard of a few years ago having eight cores of, you know, power in an Ultrabook. And the best thing about it is the battery life. Oh my God, the battery life is just outstanding. It really is. They claim about 19 hours battery life. I was able to get over 10 hours battery life and I just plugged it in there. I could have got more out of it, believe me. That's with a 90 hertz display too. Now, I've got to show you this thing here. It's military specs. This is built to military specifications in terms of, you know, they test it for vibration, drops, humidity, sand, dust, heat, whatever. And anyone can write that down in, you know, the advertising military spec, but they mean it when they say this thing's tough. I hope now the public relations are not watching this, but um, I'm going to show you. This thing here, pick it up like this, bash, crash, military spec, all right? I'm not joking. I would not even dream of doing that on a Mac, right? And did I mention that that screen is touch as well? 90 hertz, OLED. It doesn't get any better than that. All the power of this thing. Awesome keyboard, awesome trackpad. And hey, can you do this on your Mac? Just press that. Use the number pad on your trackpad there. Can you do that on a Mac? No. This one here comes with 16 gigs, terabyte SSD, and Wi-Fi 6E. You won't get Wi-Fi 6E on your Mac. Certainly not an M1 MacBook Air. Has all the ports you want. HDMI, USB-C. As I said, 75 watt hour battery. 2.8K OLED display, which has just added this world. Only 1.39 kilos, so very thin and light. 16.9 millimeters thick there. This is perfect for all your Ultrabook needs, home and office, productivity and stuff like that. The built-in webcam is actually really good, and it's got um, Asus AI, so it will block out, you know, background noise. It'll, you know, blur the background out, all that sort of stuff. This is great for a student or an office worker. And one thing that actually blew me away was the sound on this, actually. When when I was watching movies on this thing it was really loud the volume was really loud I'm not gonna say it's the best like speakers I've ever heard but very loud very clear um, a, a decent amount of bass and watching content was a pleasure on this especially with this awesome OLED display and it lays flat too it's beautiful it looks nice as used to great machining on their sort of laptops they're a bit fingerprinty and look the display can be a little bit glossy, um, but they're my only criticisms. Other than that, this is the perfect Ultrabook and one of my most highly recommended laptops, especially if you want Windows, you want to do a bit of gaming, just get this. This is the Ultrabook to get. So yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.